Hey guys, Chris Super Fast RC, and today I'm giving you an update on the race trailer. So, on the inside, we're working on painting and the hard work horse is in. Still haven't done anything with that, but whatever. Um, there's some other important stuff that's in. But yeah, working on painting. Gonna be doing some different stuff up front than I originally planned, but anyways, the main thing I wanted to show you is that we have our mini split compressor mount. Now, a lot of people are gonna rag on me for doing the Mr. Cool route. Well, I had a, a thought about it and I went this route for a reason, but um, I just wanna show you the mount here real quick and I'll tell you why I went with the Mr. Cool. Other than I've had good experience with them. So, I went ahead and used U-bolts and some uni strut, it's called super strut, you get it at Home Depot, to kind of mount the, make a bracket to mount the AC to the frame. Now, I can still access the battery box, I just have to unscrew it and it drops down. I already checked that. Down on the front, as you can see, once again, you bolts on this side, just so I didn't have to penetrate the trailer frame. And then we've got about an inch of clearance in the middle of the V, but of course, as we come out, we've got more clearance from the V. So there's plenty of room for this thing to breathe. And um, the best part about it is, it does not affect the usage of the jack at all. So there is that. That is super, by the way, it's super stout. It ain't going anywhere. Like it's part of the trailer now, so that's good. And the reason I went with the Mr. Cool, and this is on the pre-connected line, pre-connector eyes, obviously you don't have to pull a vacuum, but they're not, make, you don't have to pre-flare the copper. You know, on the other option, you have to pull a vacuum and you know, the line sets are not, you have to connect them and there's a possibility for their leak. On these, you, they're actually threaded in and they're connectorized. So vibration, and movement on the line set is not going to cause a leak at the flare fitting. Um, I've fought flare fittings before with propane, all sorts of stuff. And um, I thought about it, I was just like, man, this is a really good idea for something that's gonna have vibration. Um, go ahead and get the pre-connectorized line sets. That way we don't have to worry about a leak at the flare. Anyways, just wanted to show you all that guys. By the way, this unit strut, when you get it cut, it is super sharp and this is super hard to work with. This one's not easy guys, getting this together. So, but well worth it. Here's my AC adapter, probably already showed you that. We're in the daylight this time. It's a L530. And um, yeah, so that's our progress this week on the uh, super fast RC race trailer. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.